try to get you an aerial of how big this mall actually is, but it's too windy, as you can see by the flags. Just a little too. I frankly, I'm not a mall guy, but you know, we're in Minneapolis, Mall of America, let's go get some running shoes. It's winter, we gotta get ready for winter, we gotta get new running shoes. This store is big. Kidding me? Oh, oh my gosh! This is my kind of place. It's closed. It's closed. <sighs> okay, okay, we're in the mall. It's not open yet, so I'm just waiting. I'll give you a quick update. Listen, I'm an ultra runner. I love running longer distances, more than 25 miles. I did, uh, I did a lot of running this year. Anyway, winter is coming, and where I live in Colorado, you cannot run up in the mountains in the winter because there's too much snow. I'm gonna, I, although I might, I might try a little bit more this year. So I got to get ready for running and training this winter in Denver, where I live, in the streets. Uh, and so that means changing up my shoe game plan. I have been wearing Solomon and Hoka mostly this uh, summer, this past summer. But now with winter coming, I got to rethink things. I, I I'm leaning toward Nike and Asics. Nike and Asics as kind of my go-to shoes for the urban uh, road running experience. So that's why I'm getting these shoes today from the Nike store, just waiting for them to, wait, uh, to open up. Um, yeah, let's go. In college, I ran at the University of Colorado, and so we were sponsored by Nike. And basically, I love the Nike structures in college, and I ran in those shoes for five years. And since then, I've transitioned to Hoka and Solomon because of trail running and to help prevent um, st stress fractures. I wanted a little more cushion because I suffered from stress fractures a lot in college. So basically, I am excited to try Nike again. And basically, yeah, I mean, I'm just excited. I haven't worn Nike in nine years. It's getting crazy, it's getting crazy. And I'm gonna talk to you guys here in one second about this uh, backdrop on this wall. I bet the workers that work in this Nike store don't even know with this wall. Uh, here, let me just show you. I bet they don't even know what that represents. So I'm gonna tell you here in a second. Hold on, he's getting the shoes. Blasphemy, blasphemy, wearing Adidas into a Nike store. Beyond excited for the Nike Zoom Pegasus 35 Turbos in my hand. Uh, I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on the shoe once I, well, I'm gonna wear them tonight in Denver. Once I'm back, I gotta fly back, catch a flight. So stay tuned. Be, uh, yeah, stay tuned.
to Denver, back to running at elevation. And uh, so I want to make, well, hopefully I don't get a copyright hit for that uh, John Denver song. Basically, I want to explain the backdrop on the, on the wall at the Nike store and that waffle pattern. Did you notice it looked like a waffle? Basically, in 1971, Bill Hi. Bowerman, I, thank you. Hi, thanks. Yeah. Oh, cool. Basically, have a good day. <laughs> Hold on. Basically, Bill Bowerman in 1971 in Oregon, in Eugene, asked his wife if uh, he could borrow her waffle iron to basically press his first design for Nike shoes for the outsole. He looked at the waffle and he's like, wait a minute, that would make a great pattern for my running shoes. So anyway, that's what that pattern was on the back wall of the Nike store. And I'm excited to open them up again and show them to you. And yes, go for a run in them tonight, back at the house. All right, true love, I'm coming for you. A last name? No, that's they. They oh. as you're driving. So you can look. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Yeah. So it records in. Wow. HD and high quality. And we're back. All right, filming with the GoPro 7. If you did not see yesterday's vlog, make sure you go check it out, upper right hand corner. It is uh, all about ideas and tips on how to film with a GoPro in an autumn environment. And yes, I am gonna film the Papa Tackle because you know these boys are gonna come out in full force here in one second. I'm actually gonna park right here. <laughs> here they are, here they are, here they are. Ah, here they are. <laughs> what a good trip. What a good trip. So much. I love you. Mm -hmm. Who's this? Hi. Who's this? Mama, 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 mama. Oh. There's a puppy. He's got it. Look at his. That's Papa. And Papa. Yes, Seth. Yes, Seth. <laughs> Yeah. You the lock. I'll get the lock in one second. Oh. He's Michael's just saying hi to his papa. He's just wicked. Oh. You got him. Uh, you got him. It's good to be home, YouTube. It's good to be home, seeking beauty, seeking beauty. made it this far in today's story make sure down in the comments you drop the number 35 I appreciate it and it just uh, you know lets me know that folks are paying attention and hopefully hopefully the goal learning from uh, what I'm sharing through YouTube so if you're new welcome I'm in the middle of my run about halfway through and uh, hit that subscribe button so that we can continue to run forward if you know what I mean Oh man, all right, number 35 down in the comments for the Pegasus 35. Here we go, feeling good.
the Nike Zoom Pegasus 35 Turbos. First run tonight, three, I just did three miles. Not a big run, just a baby run after, you know, shaking out the legs after an airplane ride. Always a good idea, always a good idea. These shoes, I'm not going to give my initial impression tonight. Come back tomorrow. I'm going to give them a bigger run tomorrow. Really see how they feel. Probably going to go at least 10 miles tomorrow. So come back tomorrow. Check out my initial first impressions about this shoe. And it's interesting. It's very interesting. And on the topic, remember, earlier today, I was talking about the waffle iron. Now, I ran at the University of Colorado in college. And so I battled the Oregon Ducks in cross country and track. Like they were not our friends. We they were our enemies, the Oregon Ducks. However, after college, not during college, but after college, I did come across this book and it's linked down below. One of the better running books I've ever read for sure. It basically tells a story of Bill Bowerman, who is the basically the co-founder of Nike back in the 70s. And it talks, of course, a lot about the Oregon Ducks, Steve Prefontaine, um, and using his wife's uh, waffle iron to design his first See the resemblance? See the resemblance to design his first shoe. So uh, I would highly recommend it. Is it my favorite running book? No, not even close, right? You know, if you know my story, you know what my favorite running book is, huh? huh? All right, question of the day. What is your go-to trainer running shoe right now? Just your everyday trainer. You know, not workouts, not long runs even per se, but maybe, but just your normal, you know, five to 10 mile running shoe for your medium to easy days. I'd be curious to hear what you're running in right now. That'd be amazing. Comment below. I'd appreciate it. All right, thank you for being here. Thanks for watching me acquire some new running shoes. Always an exciting day and be sure to come back tomorrow. I'm going to put these guys through the, through the official test and give you my thoughts and opinions. Seek beauty, work hard, love each other. We will see you tomorrow.